picks it up on his own. Come here. Still has the line on the wall, knocks it out of the air. Emelin picks up the pass to Paul. Emelin going back. Hook in there by Anya, just misses. Emelin now. To, to actually untrain a polo pony, whereas you say a, a, a low handicap beginner type player or, or just a patron that's not too, you know, doesn't play a lot of polo, is, uh, you know, they, they get a horse and, and they don't, first of all, they don't maintain it properly. It's not properly worked. It's not properly fed. It's overfed, underworked. That's usually your biggest because, you know, they're, they're never there. Maybe the groom's, you know, not doing quite as good a job as he should, or maybe the groom just doesn't know any better. Uh, that, that's, that's the start of the, of the problem, you know. Horse isn't getting turned out, it should be getting turned out, it's, it's sitting in a stall 24 or 23 hours a day and it's going out and set once a day. Not getting schooled, it's not getting, you know, even, even uh, made horses need to be tuned up a little bit. Somebody needs to get on, put them through the paces, stop them, turn them, you know, just, just keep them on their toes. and. Um, a lot of horses just don't get, get properly, uh, you know, maintained in school. So the guy shows up on the weekend, he gets out there, and, and, you know, the first thing he does is he's putting his spurs in his horse and running full speed, and within about two minutes, the horse run away with him. You know, hello, it, uh, you know, it's just about um, condition and, uh, and proper training, you know, before the, before the actual game. And, and one of the things I see more than anything with these, these, these low handicap players is their, their riding ability. Okay, these guys, uh, you know, polo's a real, you know, shot. It's just adrenaline junkies love it, and they like the action, but they don't want to put the time in riding. And usually what happens is they have terrible balance, okay? So guess what? They're out there playing, and, and they're, you know, they're not really that fit because they're not playing three times, four times a week, whatever it is. And they're out there, and guess what they're hanging on to for their balance? They're hanging on the horse's mouth. And, you know, after so many chuckers of that, the best horse in the world is, is going to get in his mind, you know, that this is, this is bad, this, this is painful, I'm getting nervous, I'm getting upset. Next thing you know, they go, you know, they don't want to stop. Next thing you know, they start jumping. Next thing you know, they, they you know, they're in a throwing and the guy's half falling off and the horse balks, you know, he, 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 he freezes and then he lunges. And I mean, all sorts of terrible things happen. So. You gotta, you gotta know, you know, you gotta have a little horse sense, you know, when you get out there. You know, you gotta, you know, at least have somebody, you know, hey, you know, Joe, come on, you know, lighten up on this horse's mouth, you know, just, you know, that, that's the biggest problem I see, you know, and uh, it, it's a shame because there's so many good horses ruined, you know, before they really have a chance. And then you can get them straightened out again by the time, you know, sometimes it's too late, you know, so it's, that's critical.